What do maps tell us about the world? What do maps tell us about ourselves? Let's find a way into the drawing process by using a map as inspiration. Let's look at how to develop a drawing language using lines. Use references to help you get started. Find images of trees, water, land, buildings, anything that would help you to represent these elements found on your map. Practice drawing these a few times in your sketchbooks so that you can get confident at drawing them on your actual artwork. I've decided to use a 0.5 and a 0.2 drawing pen. This will help me to get a variation in line width and that way I can control the contrast between certain elements on the map. Get comfortable and try to stay focused on your drawing for the next 20 or 30 minutes. Look for a distraction-free place, turn on some music, and you'll find yourself being quite surprised by how rewarding your drawing can be. You'll make a lot of progress, and it may turn out to be quite therapeutic for you as well. Keep your line work clear and also intentional. Look for ways to be free with your line drawing. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Your mistakes could become new textures, and in this case, they could represent new waveforms or ripples in the water. When you get to your land elements, think about what Hong Kong looks like to you. What have you experienced in this city? Remember that this place is quite diverse in landscape. How can you represent the congestion that we often experience in the city? Is it important to you to represent reality? Or would you rather draw from a fictional point of view? Play with size relationships and texture details. Let your drawing transform this map into an expression of your experiences and observations in this city.